Yep. I already know what you're thinking. Why is he standing out in front of the Zambroda covered bridge? Well, did you know Zambroda had two covered bridges? Yeah. So we're going to go and use this for a reference point, and we're going to go see where that other covered bridge was. So what I want you to do is just take note to the front of this bridge, to the entrance way to go in. Because um, I'm going to show you a few pictures that are going to come up, and they're going to look pretty much like this bridge looks here. Now, like I said, we're going to use this for a reference point. So you need to know that this bridge was never here in this spot. This one has been moved through time. And I'll swing the camera around so you can see. This is Highway 58 out here. Right there is where that covered bridge stood for the, all the years that it was in service. Right there is built in the 1869 and then in the 1930s it was removed. So I just want to go inside a minute and look at the construction to give you an idea if you've never seen the inside of one of these. You can see how the roof is constructed and the side walls. Look at the trusses on those side walls to carry the weight. And this was just for horse and buggies at the time and um, vehicles, you know, as time moved on. And the bridge we're gonna try and go and see where it was, it's no longer there, was a railroad bridge. So this is the kiosk. This is the path that's coming from the covered bridge that's in Zimbroda. The Halbert Mill is off in this direction right here across the river. But, when we go back and we look at this map, and by the way, this is part of the dam here. And that's probably a very, very old picture of that mill. Says the 1900s though. And you can stop and take a read at some of this stuff if you'd like to. You know, just stop the video and and read. Here's a little bit about uh, preserving the riverbanks and stuff. I'm sure when this type of thing happens, there's some some history that gets lost with it. But here's what we're looking at right here. This this is not. I'm standing here. You are here. Well, that's from here up. That's across the river. Here, they're saying I'm standing over there on that side of the river, and I, you know, I'm not. I'm on this side of the river. This is the north side, this is the south side, so I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking this is screwed up. It's, it's not right, so I think we need to fix the problem here somehow, so just bear with me a second. Bear with me. There we go. There we go. This is right now. Yeah. This is right. I just had to flip this around. Now, this is the fork I'm looking at in the river over here. I think this is the covered bridge. What I'm looking for is a switch. And this is it. This is the switch. You're coming right off the bridge. There's a switch. There's a spur. And this leg is going into the town. It's going into the Zimbroda. And that's what I'm looking for. This is, this is the Duluth Red Wing and Southern Railroad coming in here. And these are some of their tracks to the, the commerce that they're serving. So I have, I have found a larger picture 
that I'll put up now so that you can look at it. And then we're going to walk down and see where this was, this, this spur, okay? And if you look, there's an ice house right next to it that's long gone. And the dam, the dam is here. Here's the mill. And here's the railroad. And we're going to see if we can find and put together these spots. So I've walked down about a block or so. Yeah, what's a block? I'm thinking the city blocks that you would have saw on that map I just showed you, okay? They're short blocks, they're not long blocks at all. And this is the Zumbro River at this point. Check that out. Right here, I, it looks like a creek. Do you see that? That's our river. Looks like a creek, okay. And then it goes back out this way. But right at this point, if you look across, right in there, now that's, that's the creek. That's what I'm told is the Roscoe Creek. Now, I know the mouth looks pretty narrow now, but I want you to go back on the map and look at the map. This was a pretty big, Pretty big mouth. In fact, I'm thinking some of this here probably wasn't there. That that's was a big mouth to this. And in fact, it, it could have been coming out into here too, and it's just been washed away. You see that? And then let's remember that a lot of this back in there was was filled in because this was the milk pond back in this area. You know, for that mill, it created a great big wide river. Go back and look at another picture I'm going to put up right now of the mill. So let's look at that one that was upside down there on the kiosk. And that's the mouth of that Roscoe Creek. Somewhere, somewhere up right in here somewhere, according to that map, was an ice house. And then that railroad fell between the ice house and the dam. Now the dam is down that direction yet a ways. And I'm, I'm going to bet that that railroad went through here. Right in this area here. Now sometimes people don't write things exactly where they are on a map, but they're close. They're, they're always very close. So I think we need to be closer to the creek than we are to the dam that's back that way. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my bets in here, right here in this spot. So yeah, this, this would be my bet here. Just, just beyond that building over there that we see. This building up here. I'll go up there a little bit later and show you where that's at, but this is my bet right here. Now, if you saw in that picture, you saw a girder bridge. Girder bridges, that's kind of the type that they'd make these 
covered bridges out of. Now remember the Zambrota covered bridge up by 58 I showed you? Remember the inside? That was a girder bridge. And then after they built the bridge, they decided to cover it. I think that's what happened here. I think that is the covered bridge. And then they covered it. Okay, so there's the dam where the mill was. And you swing around. We've already been down by the fork in the river where the Roscoe Creek entered it. And I'm going to put up a picture now. And remember that this high ground here, that, was, that wasn't here then. This is, this is a very wide part in the river at that time. Okay, back at the kiosk. Let's take that second map I showed you the area that shows where the railroad came through. I'm here because it's easy to get over to where I'm going. There's a path here that I'm going to walk on. And I'm going to bring you out and show you where I was the other day when I was here with those other three fellows. Very nice fellows, by the way. And we tracked the railroad for a while. And now I'm gonna go back out here a ways and show you where it probably made its bend. But you're, you're talking about a track, a spur that, that would go south sort of due south and, and, and southwest. You know, Could it have been into that uh, turnaround, that, that so turntable inside the... Uh, well, it, 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 you see that? I have help on this one. Yeah. So this is the trail at the end of the Covered Bridge Park in Zimbroda, where the trail starts and walks down, oh, it walks down this way here, maybe mm, three or four hundred feet and winds up on the Chicago Great Western Railroad bed. And then back down there in that direction is where that long trestle is on what they'd call their bike trail, the Pioneer Trail, I think. But um, this is where I'm going to start and work my way back into Zambroda. And I want you to see this knoll right here. I know it's hard to see, but there's a knoll here. You see it? I don't know if we can see it the other way. Yeah, it's going out that way. Okay, and this is going to connect to the Chicago Great Western tracks, but they weren't there. This is the original track. From There's the entrance to that trail. It's a little cul-de-sac here at the end of the park. You can see my truck and this up here. You see this knoll? That's railroad bed. There it is, right there. There's more, right there. That's railroad bed along here. And um, you have to remember this was put in in 1888. So things change through time, but it's running down the edge of this park. Still working my way towards Zimbroda. I think I'm still on the railroad bed. 
So if you live in Zimbrody, you probably know where I'm standing. And somewhere, somewhere in this area where I'm standing, this, this is where it's making its bend, coming around. And it's going down right, right into that area, right there. In fact, what you see is the window I want. So that's my window. Somewhere in that area, that bridge went through there. So I'm at the corner of St. Paul Road and looks like Warren Avenue. This is St. Paul Road here heading out towards Zimbroda, downtown Zimbroda. And you know, it stops just before you see that building out there. But in its day, it would have continued on. That building wouldn't have been there. And if I swing around to my left, there's another building. And if I swing around further, we're following that St. Paul Road down this way. And you're going to see some signs. There's a bridge down there that's closed. You cannot drive over it any longer, but you can walk over it. That belonged to the highway. And that house there, if I was to just pan over this way here, you can't see it because of the grade. But right down in here, there is a trestle ruins there that crosses that creek and that belongs to the Chicago Great Western after they rerouted their railroad. But the mouth of the Roscoe Creek would have been down in this area and like I say we're up on top of the hill now and you can't see it from here. But if I was to walk down the same amount of distance as I did from the mouth of that creek that puts me right about in here. You see this building here and somewhere, somewhere right out in there has got to be where that ice house was, somewhere, somewhere out in that area. And um, my bet is right here. This is my bet. So just as it came off of the bridge, there's a switch. There's a switchman sitting to the left. He operates a switch. There's a spur that comes right down over to the bridge at that switch. And the railroad kind of bends around. It bends around to its left as it comes off the bridge. It comes out this way and it starts going down that way, right there. Now, back in the day, go back to look at that map. You've got to look at that map of mine because this is the only railroad it shows here. And there's some spurs over here. Not all these buildings were here. But there are some spurs that serviced some of the buildings that were here back then. enjoyed that hunt. I was glad to have you all with me on that one. It started off, I wasn't sure. I knew what I had to look for. I knew I had to have a switch with a spur or something. <laughs>